Well, this year, a local woman is once again mingling with the music stars and showing off her wine glass paintings of the stars that are in high demand. You could say she is the toast of the town out there in the West Coast. Craig Smith live in studio tonight with more on how a little bit of the capital region is finding its way to L.A. Yeah, it is all the way from Queensbury, Greg. Cindy Wade started painting glasses a few years ago as gifts for the family, and she put them on Facebook. Well, somehow Taylor Swift found them and ordered some, and the next thing, Wade was on her way to Tennessee. She's a little busy these days. It's, it's very interesting what's happening. I never know day to day what's going to happen. It's not unusual to see Wade rubbing elbows with stars in Hollywood, New York, and Nashville. This year, the people at the Grammys and the Oscars came calling. They've both contacted me. I'm working with both. And so with the Grammy glasses, I got my list, and um, I shipped everything out. What she shipped was glasses bearing the likenesses of recording artists and even some people who've never been heard of. I've seen a pattern with the different award shows. There's certain people that, you know, maybe like a lifelong achievement or an, a new upcomer that might not even be getting a Grammy or an award. They're getting acknowledged for something. Record of the Year will be acknowledged for something. And it's a pretty broad span of who I'm doing painting for. She recently painted 20 glasses for Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry. And she's done some for the people behind American Idol and Sons of Anarchy. It's amazing just the networking end of things and the people that you meet and the different things people are requesting. I did a cookie jar for Lou Diamond Phillips. I've spent time now. I'm friends with Wink Martindale. He's great, actually. Wade says she always brings back items with famous autographs to donate to local fundraisers. And this time she's bringing some back for the St. Baldrick's Foundation. Greg Smith, CBS 6 News.